didn't mean to run into you <laughs> no like that. No problem, bro. How are you? We got to talk. Yeah, anytime, dude. Anytime. Anytime. After this shit happens, anytime. All right. Now, professional wrestlers aren't immune to getting into real-life altercations outside of the ring. This can take many forms. Wrestlers can find themselves in trouble with the law, or wrestlers can rekindle an old hatred for a fellow wrestler and settle it outside the ring years down the line. In an age of social media, it is extremely hard for an altercation with any kind of celebrity to go unnoticed, and this naturally extends to professional wrestlers. But who lost their cool for real outside of the ring? Join us now as WrestleMania looks at 10 WWE wrestlers who got into an altercation outside of WWE. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos. Number 1. Chris Jericho Runs Into A Rude Fan Wrestling legend Chris Jericho has never been scared to speak his mind and stand up for what he believes in. And this was seen during an altercation in 2016 when Jericho had a heated argument with a fan in New York City. The lead singer of Fozzie was seen standing outside Irving Plaza following a tribute show for David Z when a confrontation began between the former world champion and a supposed fan. TMZ reported at the time that the fan was very aggressive towards Jericho after Jericho stopped taking photographs with fans and just wanted to leave. Thanks to this, the fan and Jericho began to throw verbal shots at each other, including F-bombs. Jericho would later apologize for the incident, citing it was simply boiled over anger following the death of David Z. He stated, I was not in a good state of mind at the time and instead of ignoring a pushy, aka rude fan, which is what I would usually do, I snapped. My apologies to all involved and God bless David Z. Number 2. Wade Barrett vs The Police In 2008, WWE had high hopes for Wade Barrett. He was seen as one of the best young talents in their Florida Championship Wrestling territory and had big plans for his future. However, Barrett almost threw his whole WWE career out of the window in 2008. Barrett was arrested and charged with the battery of a police officer following an incident with a female police officer outside of a bar in Tampa, Florida. Barrett had got into a physical altercation with a plainclothes officer, which ultimately led to his arrest. The charges were eventually dropped, and luckily the incident wouldn't impact Barrett's WWE future as he would debut on the main roster under two years later. Number 3. Vader on Good Morning Kuwait At one time, the subject of whether or not wrestling was fake was seen as a taboo subject, and referring to wrestling as fake to an actual wrestler was one of the most insulting things you could ever do. I think this is fake. You think it's fake? What's that? Is that fake? Huh? What the hell's wrong with you? That's open hand slap, huh? This was seen when Vader and then WWF champion The Undertaker were guests on the Good Morning Kuwait show back in April of 97 to promote the WWF's tour of the Middle East. During the show, show host Bassam Al Othman asked The Undertaker the following question. In Kuwait, they say this wrestling is not for real. You act. The Undertaker replied in a diplomatic manner. However, the show host didn't give Vader a chance to give his side on the question, which resulted in Vader interrupting the host and saying he wants to answer that question as well. Excuse me, excuse me. I'm sorry, yeah. You gave him a chance to respond to yeah, that this question. Yeah, this is the question I'm going to ask you. Now. I'd like, like to respond to the same question. Okay, please. My astute colleague, the heavyweight champion of the world, very diplomatic individual. I'm perhaps not quite so diplomatic. In fact, I find your your question and uh, your remarks insulting to what I do. Vader then flipped the table and grabbed the host by his tie and yelled, Does that feel fake, huh? Does that feel fake? Vader was charged with assault and use of obscene language. His arrest unfortunately fell at the start of the religious holiday, meaning Vader was trapped in Kuwait for two weeks. Number 4. Enzo and Joey Janela at a Blink-182 concert Enzo Amore is one of the more polarizing figures in modern wrestling, with seemingly every fan and wrestler having a diverse opinion of him. One of the more infamous incidents Enzo was a part of came in the summer of 2019 when he got into an altercation with AEW star Joey Janela at a Blink-182 concert. <laughs> of all places. The story of the altercation was told in a series of tweets by both men. Enzo tweeted, 
Where was that energy at? We ain't friends, Janella. Don't introduce yourself to me, f boy. I thought you were a fan. <laughs> the second I realized it was you, I slapped your f ass hands down and walked at you with my hands up, you f ran backwards and told my homie to film it. Soft aff. Janella then replied with, not at work. So I saw the dude and walked up and I said, hi, I'm Joey Janella at the Blink-182 show and we proceeded to have, I'm not Lennox Lewis, to have the fist fight of the year. I'm not a but we had fun. Issues between wrestlers on social media is nothing new. However, it is very rare to see two wrestlers who dislike each other actually get into a real life confrontation out of a wrestling setting. Number five, Randy Orton runs into a fan in the gym. Randy Orton has had anger issues in the past, but over recent years, Orton has seemed to have mellowed out into a family guy who takes great pride in his work and family. However, an incident at a gym in early 2017 caused Orton to revert back to his prior days of having a short temper. According to an article from NEA Report, a fan had asked if it was okay for him to take a picture with Orton at the gym, but Orton only gave the guy a fist bump and pointed to his headphones stating that he couldn't hear him. The fan then walked away from Orton and took the photo of him from across the room, which caused Orton to get angry. The fan stated, he saw me snap the picture and came up to me, got in my face and said, what the fuck are you doing? I said, no goddamn pictures. Are you fucking stupid? I said, no, you said you couldn't hear me. Still in my face, I said, no disrespect. If you want, I can delete it. He said, yeah, fucking delete it. I said, okay, seriously, no disrespect. He later said to my friends, fuck it, keep the fucking picture. Enjoy your workout. Randy Orton has been known to have a very hot temper, especially with reporters as well, as seen in this very clip. No, no, hey, you want to talk to me on your own show here and make you look I'm cool? A, you want to look cool? I'm always say it to my face. Why are you turning red? I'm serious. I'm, I'm always. I'm serious. Hey, I'm serious. No, look at me. 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 Hey, take now say it again. Hey. Say it again. I dare you to say it again. Randy, call me fragile. I will headbutt your teeth through your skull. Do you hear me? It's not sure whether this was a semi-work or not, as they were in Mexico at the time and wanted to make Orton to look like a legitimate heel before he faced Rey Mysterio that night. Number 6. Alberto Del Rio and Drew McIntyre at SummerSlam 2013 SummerSlam 2013 was one of the most acclaimed SummerSlam events of all time. However, there was an incident that occurred during the SummerSlam weekend in 2013 that often gets swept under the rug due to how positive the reception of the pay-per-view was. The incident involved the then world champion Alberto Del Rio and Drew McIntyre. The story goes that Del Rio got into a verbal confrontation with an individual at an Irish bar in LA. A group joined in with the confrontation until suddenly the group started to fight Del Rio. Luckily McIntyre stepped in to assist Del Rio and fend off the attackers. Del Rio then showed up to the pay-per-view with a black eye, which was explained on commentary that the black eye came from Del Rio taking a kill switch on SmackDown prior to the pay-per-view. Number 7. Santino Confronts Jim Cornette The issues between Santino Marella and Jim Cornette began all the way back when Cornette was running OVW. At the time, the boogeyman was just starting his gimmick and Cornette needed everyone to sell how scary the gimmick was. However, Santino started smiling and chuckled. Cornette took exception to this and berated Santino backstage and ended up slapping him across the face multiple times. The issues between the two would resurface at a wrestling convention in 2017 as a fan recorded a confrontation between the two. According to Santino, the altercation went down like this. I said to him that I was hoping we could walk away from this with a newfound respect for each other. He laughed and he said he has no respect for me, called me a joke and that he should slap me again. These two are still not on speaking terms. Number 8. Harley Race and Vader confront each other at a convention In 2012 at the Legends of the Ring convention in New Jersey, two wrestling legends got into a heated altercation. The story goes that Harley Race and Vader came to blows in front of fans. Race would punch Vader in the face, Vader punched back, however he missed and struck a convention worker who was seriously hurt in the altercation. Rob Feinstein from RF Video took to his personal Facebook page to address the situation. He stated, Vader was in a foul mood the entire day, which is typical of him. He started to talk nasty to a few fans. Race told Vader not to disrespect the fans as they are paying to see them. Vader made a smartass comment which pissed Harley off. Harley, who is crippled now, struck Vader in the head with a punch. Vader went to strike back, but instead hit a promoter who was standing nearby. The promoter, from what I was told, had to get an ice pack, 
and Vader walked out of the room. Number 9. King Kong Bundy confronts Scott Hall Scott Hall has well established personal demons and sometimes these demons have led to altercations outside of the ring. In November of 2017 during a fan convention in New York, Hall was reportedly messed up and this resulted in the WWE Hall of Famer showing up late to the convention. Hall then started yelling at King Kong Bundy before Bundy lost his temper and began to attack Hall and started to choke him. According to Brutus Beefcake, he was in a vodka rage and started messing with the wrong guy, King Kong Bundy, and things went bad for him. And number 10, Alicia Fox confronts Ronda Rousey's husband. One of the biggest stories of WrestleMania weekend in 2018 took place out of the ring and it involved Alicia Fox and Ronda Rousey's husband Travis Brown. A video surfaced online which saw Fox and Brown arguing at the Hyatt Regency Hotel in New Orleans. The footage, which was published by The Sun in the UK, started with Fox pointing a finger at Brown and calling him rude before saying, I can't believe you. Brown is heard defending himself before Fox realizes she's being filmed and quickly slaps the camera away. The altercation resulted in Fox being pulled from the WrestleMania 34 Battle Royal, however WWE declared that it was due to the injury rather than the bad PR that came from the video probably being the most talked about point of the WrestleMania weekend. It's still unclear to this very day as to what actually caused the argument and what the extent of the issue was between the two. But there you have it guys, 10 WWE wrestlers who got into altercations outside of the WWE. Now we know we're missing the obvious Shawn Michaels one, where he was attacked by a bunch of sailors, but that one is well known to be honest. But are there any more altercations that happened? Let us know in the comments down below, subscribe if you haven't already, follow us on Instagram and Facebook for exclusive lists, and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.